Hello everybody. In this video, I'm going to show you how to wire a generator to an electrical panel. Whether it's a 120 volt generator or a 240 volt generator, I'm going to show you how to wire both of them up. Let's get started. Before I cut the power off, I'm going to show you this interlock that I made. And I got a video of how to make this. And I figured out an easy way so you can make a pattern. But anyway, I got that on my channel. Okay, and here's my power. I got it cut on. And I want you to notice how slick this interlock is. I, I'm going to pull my main power off. I got an inverter over there that I'm using for light. And see, that's got my power locked. I can't cut that on. But I can cut my generator on. This is where my generator's coming in. And I can cut my generator on. And only after I move this back, see that? Only after I move this back can I slide this up and cut my main power back on. If you're going to be using 120, you're going to be just using just a single breaker like this. If you're going to be running 240, you're going to need a double breaker like this right here. There's something to know about the 120 and the 240. If you're using a 120, half of your panel box won't work. And I don't mean half this side and half that side. I'm going to have to show you about that on a piece of paper in a second. Now this is a breaker box that I found online. It's a small box, but I can show you the idea. Now the two hots come in right up here on the top, which is the way they are on most every one I've, I've ever seen. You see this side right here is the B side. This side right here is the A side. If you got a 120 generator, uh, this side and this side will share the same prong right here. So they'll both be on B. Your generator will be energizing this whole side. It won't energize this side. You got to have a 220 to energize both sides. So if you got a 220 breaker, it'll sit on both of these. One, one part of the breaker will sit on this and one part of the breaker will sit on this. And you'll have two hot wires coming in from your generator and it'll, it'll energize both sides of your panel box. Where, like I say again, if you got a 110, it'll only energize just this one side. And see, with a 120 generator, you will only have one hot wire coming in. So see, it's impossible to energize both sides with a 120 volt generator. And y'all, it's just as simple as put all your breakers on this one uh, side right here, the B side. Now you know, they can be across from one another. It, because they'll both, uh, this side and this side will both be on the same prong right here. I've got an inverter on right there. Now, see, this right here is where my generator wire will be coming in. And this, and this is on the B. And see, this is on the B. I'm going to pull that out and show you it sharing the prong so I can show you like exactly what I'm talking about. You see this prong right here? That's bo both of these breakers is sharing that B prong right there. Hey, y'all, I'm telling you, this ain't the easiest video I ever explained. You see, both of these right here is B. And then these are running off the A. You see right here, this right here jumps back to B. And this side right here is sharing that B. But when you do this, you got to make sure you cut off absolutely every breaker. Because see, this side can't be on. Why? I, I can't have these breakers on when I cut this on. So, trying to make a long story short, I, the, the, the breakers that's got the red tape on there, 
is the ones I'll be using. And this nail here, it ain't got no tape on it, but this right here is a 110 air conditioner, so I'll be using it. And this, uh, this breaker right here was over here on this side. And, uh, you know, it's got four wires. So I had some different colored tape. I, like, put a piece of white tape on this, and then I put a piece of white tape on the wire, because when you move it to the other side of the box, so you it'll flip upside down. And don't trust yourself to remember what goes what. Just do it like the way it is. And then, uh, see, this right here has got a piece of green tape on there. See, I put green tape on my wire. And, well, here's some blue, but I actually took the tape off. But anyway, I put a different color uh, tape on every wire, and I put uh, the tape on where it went. Now, if you need your appliances or your well or anything that runs off of 220, go on and get you a, a generator that'll run that. Now, I'm just fine with the 110 and one half of my box working. So if you've got a small generator, don't be discouraged. What, see, all I had to do was just move my breakers around. I've got all my lights. I got the microwave. Uh, I got the refrigerator. Uh, here's my 110 air conditioner down here. And like I can say, I got all my lights. Uh, I'm good to go as, as far as that. I just can't run no 220. And, you know, I don't even know if every box is like this, but you can get these little single breakers, and I don't, uh, I don't know if yours has got this kind or these little singles like this. But uh, this is pretty neat because, and see this wire right here? It was up here. See, I got the breaker cut off. This is the bedroom lights, and I took that wire, and I moved it down here to an empty spot I had so we'll have bedroom lights and you know you won't have even if you got even if I cut on every breaker that I got for the 120 you won't be using them all at one time if you when you go out of a room if you cut that light off it that light won't it'll burn no electricity when that light switches off if you cut everything off in your house, if you've still got one of the kind of meters that spin, that meter will stop and it won't move. So you ain't got to worry too much about that. But you got to make sure that, see this right, see this break right here? It's on here with the stove. I had to make damn sure that I don't cut that right there on. Because it'll, uh, I, I've read a lot about this, but, uh, they say that it'll that it'll tear it up, but I mean it won't work anyway. Your uh, your hot wire that's gonna be coming in on your 120, you'll have a you'll have a a bare wire that'll go here, and then your neutral will go on this side. If you got a 220 breaker in there, it'll sit right. It'll sit in both of these spots and you'll have one hot wire coming in here and one hot wire coming in here in the same you know uh it'll i don't know if i said it but it'll have four wires and the neutral go here and the ground will go over here i wouldn't attempt this without this interlock and you also can get a transfer switch and I think the transfer switches is pretty good, but they seem like to me they're kind of high. Seem like to me the interlock's kind of high too. Uh, you know why they are. It's it's almost hard to just look at that box and tell how to put an interlock on there that'll work because there's so many things that have to happen at the same time. But like I say, I got a video on how to make one. I figured out how to make a pattern where you can take that pattern out there and lay it on a piece of metal and cut it out to fit. I want to let y'all know I'm not an electrician. I just talked to a couple of my buddies that is electricians 
And then I studied this right here pretty hard. Now, the generator that I'm going to be using is a, a 30 amp generator. But, uh, like, uh, if you got, like, a 2,000 watt generator, you won't be able to be messing with these, these 20 amp breakers too much. I think, uh, one of these right here, one of these 20s, one of them is the refrigerator and one of them is the microwave. And that microwave, I think that they're about 2,000 watts or 2,500 watts. So, so even though I've got it on here, probably won't be able to use it with, with the air conditioning on right here. So you kind of just want to be reasonable about, you, of, of, about what you're using. The main thing with me is I want my air conditioning working. And then even like if, uh, just say you got your air conditioning on, you can cut your air conditioner off every once in a while and turn your, let your refrigerator run, you know, maybe an hour. I mean, turn it wide open where it won't be cutting off and on and make it going to get colder than what you want it to get. And then you can undo the, undo that and plug the air conditioning back in or turn the breaker back on. Hey, y'all, I only got a couple more things to say. There's my inverter that I was using, and here's my light for like when I was cutting my power off. I don't I don't mess with that box right there when it's when it's on. You know, with the with the power on, not even for a second. You don't neither. Just want to tell you, whatever size generator you got, your your wires gonna be coming in, match your breaker up to whatever it is. If it's 2,000 watts, you can Google how many amps is 2,000 watts. So that takes care of that. Now, probably more than likely, you'll be putting a plug outside where you can just plug your your uh, generator wire into the plug on the side of the house. I'm not going to be doing that. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. I've got some barrier wire. This right here is uh is eight two, and I'm gonna be putting mine in the ground permanent. So I'm just gonna plug my wire directly into my box. I'm not gonna have a a box outside, a, a, pl a plug outside where I'm plugging in and unplugging. It the, it's gonna run straight to my generator. And say, man, that's dangerous. No, it ain't, because you you can't have the power on and the generator on, uh, the generator power and the electricity power on at the same time. That's the beauty of the interlock. You see, I got a 30 amp plug right here that I'll be using. If you got 2,000 watt generator, you won't have one of these. But it actually works the same way. Because, see, one of these prongs right here, I don't know which one it is, but one of them is, uh, only one of them is hot. I think it, uh, well, I ain't sure, but uh, it, it's got the directions in the box. <laughs> you might want to like and subscribe. I'm going to show you the generator right here that I'm going to be using. I'm going to be trying that out and see what it'll do. And I want to caution you that if you get one of them big generators, one of them 240 generators, it's going to be loud. And I ain't got no problem about the about the 220 generator. I just don't want no loud generator that you can hear all over the neighborhood, man. I'm not sure if I said it, but see, I got solar hot water. I hadn't got no well, and I've got gas heat. Uh, so that's the reason that, that the just a 120 volt generator will suit my needs. Okay, y'all. Peace. We'll see y'all on the next video.